Hello YouTube, Block Block Builder here. Welcome back to another LEGO Transformers video review. Today I have for you the winner of the 200 subscriber special, LEGO Transformers G1 Megatron. Here he is in his Walter P38 gun mode, basically. And you can hold him like a gun. This is kind of supposed to be like the trigger part. See what that does when we get into transformation. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to get into some size comparisons. Here he is next to a minifigure. As you can see, he's a giant gun. Because... He has to turn into a giant robot, and you can't make a tiny gun turn into a giant robot because of magic, logic and science and stuff. But yeah, here he is next to a toilet, a sink, and a bathtub. Here he is next to G1 Soundwave version whatever. He's like just good now. He's even better than before. There he is next to him. Here he is next to a Model T and a little hot air balloon. All these things I'm showing you because I haven't made a video in a little while and this is the 200 subscriber special basically. And yeah, so those are some size comparisons. Uh, also here he is next to one of those like, uh, you put a quarter in it and it'll go back and forth like this. Yeah, there's him next to that and yeah so let's get into transformation okay to start off Megatron's transformation first thing you're gonna do is take this part off up here his fusion cannon except for it took off too much come on oops that's happening alright well instead of that we're just gonna swing the front of the gun out which has his head attached to it as you can see just move that to the back for now then come here Try and pop off the fusion cannon. There's like a little bit of the this. Come on, it usually comes off easily. What's going on here? There we go. Now you got that off. You just want to rotate it this way. Put that off to the side. You can see we got a Megatron head attached to a gun, flung to the side like that. Now what you want to do is you will take the whole entire section right here. You're going to lift this up and then you're going to fold the waist skirts out to the side because that's what this is. These are the legs. Then, I'm going to rotate back the back half here. You're going to rotate this part around like this. That's just a connector to secure everything once it's transformed. Well, not everything, just the upper body. And you want to reconnect everything because he broke. Come on, Megatron. He's kind of fragile, but you just want to rotate that down. Then you take this arm and you just rotate this up. This will swing up to this side. Next, you're going to take these two tabs and those are going to plug into those two holes. And it just goes in like so. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now that you got those connected, you can actually take this section and just swing it together. And his legs decided to swing out. Not going to want that. Don't want that yet. Now you got this. I'm going to raise the camera real quick. Okay, the cam Okay, the camera is now raised. Just going to put that random piece over there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to finish transforming the upper body. We're just going to take these clips and these will rotate inside of the other ones and just sort of collapse forward and do a shorter arm. Then you'll rotate it. Rotate that down and rotate down his hand. Swing this down and same thing on this side. Just gonna collapse in the elbow joint. Rotate this down. Rotate that down. Sorry about that. There we go. Just put these back down. What about all the car noises. Can't really do nothing about that. Now we have a Megatron with a head off to the side and a gun handle for legs. So now we're gonna work on his backpack slash head area. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn him around. You are going to swing this down, rotate this down like this, the end. then we're just going to swing it out to the side. Then you want to rotate this tile up like this. This will rotate to the side. You're going to take this and this is going to swing out this way. You want to rotate this back and then you've got that. This will rotate this way 
this part is very fragile so if it breaks I'm sorry then you rotate it on the then you move it on the ball joint align the head so it goes into this gap right there then you just sort of swing it into place fold the head forward and kind of just move around everything until it's how you like it there's his head in place I really like this head I tried to make it look it's like a really small just it looks like Megatron which is good now what you want to do lift his arms up swing this all out pull it up just so you have room to do the legs so what you're going to do is there's this little circle bit right here and then you're going to push back and that'll split them this one just broke because it's only connected by a single stud I should probably fix that but whatever just going to want to connect that back on it's connected back on now what you do is take his legs slide them out to the side like this you're going to come down here yeah he's going to flop around a little bit you're going to rotate this down and then you're going to pull it up a little bit and then it's just going to slide through like that now that you've done that you just compress the leg in you actually want this not like that you're going to do it like this you have to rotate the leg this way so that the flat part will be on the front this will rotate like this then that will come up and that will go up piece will break off because of how fragile he is to be a gun that can either slide up but I'm gonna put it down so that he's not too ridiculously tall then Optimus and you slide up this little piece right here and you do the same thing on the other side I'm gonna rotate this leg this way that'll swing up this will rotate up collapse in the leg slide it up Fold down his skirt, or whatever this is called. It's his waist piece. It's basically a skirt, but whatever. Just kind of align the legs correctly. Raise the camera a little bit more, probably, because Megatron's pretty tall. Okay, so here's Megatron in his robot mode, but we're not done yet. We just got to put on his fusion cannon real quick. So yeah, I think he looks awesome. Looks very much like his G1 self which is what I was going for, so that's good. Yeah, now for uh, posability, ball joint here and the shoulder. You can also rotate and go up and down and stuff. He has got, oops, sorry, stuff is breaking. His head, if you hold back here, because it's connected on a bunch of like joints, can rotate side to side, look up and down. Just gotta realign that real quick. I usually don't move his head. His elbows are double jointed. He's got a rotation up here. It can bend here. Come on. There's a rotation right here, so it can go like that. And it can go like this. But I prefer just to use one of the joints at a time. Hands on a T-joint, so it can swivel and go up and down. His waist is on a ball joint. It can also, because of transformation joints, it can do really weird stuff like this. But yeah, it's on a ball joint his waist skirts on a bunch of series of hinges legs are ball jointed right here they're ball jointed on the knee his feet are ball jointed yeah that's his posability now for some size comparisons let me just push him back so you can see all of him here he is next to a minifigure here he is next to Optimus Prime who wants to fall over a little bit there we go there he is next to Optimus. Here he is next to Soundwave and Tape Deck Mode or whatever it's called. It's like a cassette player, that's what it is. I think it might be a tape deck actually. Whatever. Not showing you his robot mode until his video exists. But there you go. Here he is next to this guy. Who's a just video will come in the future, the Mobile T. Not mobile, no, that's not what it's called. The Model T, that's it. Names, it's great. Alright, so there's G1 Megatron. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all for 200 subscribers. Hopefully we'll be able to reach 300 soon, that'd be awesome. Block Block Builder, breaking out.